Hi, my name is Simon Cotter. I'm Director of Product Management for Oracle Infrastructure Software, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview about the VirtualBox capability to export the local VM to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So, uh, yeah, this is the new VirtualBox 7 UI. As you can see, we have a retro style. Um, yeah, let's start with the, some of the new capabilities that we have there uh, for VirtualBox 7. And one of them is the opportunity to possibly get a local VM exported and running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So starting from the welcome section, we have the export button. By clicking on the export button, you are going to get the list of the local VMs available. I'm going now to leverage tiny OL9 VM. Uh, here, uh, I have some options related to the format settings. Related to the format, I obviously have to select Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, that said, I have to decide on which compartment uh, is there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, I have to select the one where I'm going to, to get the, the image uploaded and, and so the, the instance created. I'm going to select OLB. I have here three different options. Uh, the first one, uh, yeah, saying don't ask me about it, so it's related to the machine creation. I uh, have the opportunity to just upload the image, right? To then maybe possibly create an instance in the future. Second option is saying, uh, ask what to do related to the machine creation after, right? or sorry, before exporting the disk as a custom image. And the third one is after exporting. I'm going to select the second one, so the, the prompt related to the machine creation will ask uh, will be asked before exporting. Next, um, here I have the uh, bucket, so the, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure bucket where to upload the tiny OL9 image. And here it's going to be the display name, so how this image would be displayed on the bucket. And here I have the launch mode or how uh, the instance is going to be created on OCI, right? Or which kind of image here we have. If it's going to be an image that uh, will give the opportunity to create an emulated instance or even a native one or a para-virtualized one. Uh, due to the fact that on VirtualBox, we also have iSCSI devices available. So iSCSI storage as well as uh, the Virtual network. I'm going to select para-virtualized I click on finish. Here, VirtualBox is talking with the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Interface by leveraging the OCI Web Services API. And here, I can configure and decide uh, what I'm going to get created there on OCI. So, uh, first point, I'm going to select the shape that is going to be leveraged there on OCI. VM standard 2.1 is going to be based on uh, an Intel CPU, the instance will have one CPU or one virtual CPU and 15 gigabyte of RAM. The launch mode is obviously para-virtualized. I'm going to leave the default disk size that is 50 gigabytes. So this is the minimum required there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And here I have also the options related to the network configuration. So I'm going to select the OLV VCN uh, compartment. Uh, the VCN will be OLV VNC. Uh, the subnet that I'm going to, the subnet compartment that I'm going to select is OLD, and the subnet I'm going to select a public subnet just because I also would like to have a public IP address for this machine that is going to be created there on OCI. Now that I'm going to click on finish, VirtualBox uh, immediately start to get the local image converted into the format desired and expected by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Um, so now a local conversion is going to happen. Uh, VirtualBox also is also intelligent enough to possibly compact or uh, trim, let's say, the disk image before getting the same uploaded. So the writing appliance step, what is going on? Uh, VirtualBox is directly uploading the local virtual disk image to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure bucket.
And the bucket will then be leveraged to create the instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So now the um, upload process finished. And as you can see here, uh, another process started, the one that is going to create uh, the, the instance on, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And the same is going to appear under my OLV compartment, OLV OCI compartment. As you can see now, uh, this instance is in provisioning status. And here, I already have all the details related to the instance that is going to be provisioned. Now, uh, the instance is now running. And here I have the IP address or the public IP address of the instance running there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I can copy the value of this instance and I can try to connect by SSH. So by a terminal, I can connect to the public IP address of the instance that being exported to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, connect to the same and get access to it. If I check the IP address, obviously I'm going to see the private IP address, right? That is the private IP address that is also defined here on VirtualBox. And yeah, and thanks to, to this kind of capability, I've been able to get my local VM, that is a Nautical Linux 9 VM, uh, created here on my VirtualBox instance, exported and running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Thank you for your time looking at this quick demo.